Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz, and this right here is my very best friend in the entire world. He has something very important for you to do today. He has two new friends. Would you like to see his friends? They're, they're raptors. Uh-oh. Like, like just had problems. But subscribe is <laughs> going well. Go subscribe. Oh, he's gonna eat Kevin, isn't he? Raptors like eating Kevin. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. Um, he's, uh, buddy? You gonna be all right? <laughs> You're supposed to eat them. I promise it would have been funnier. You're supposed to here. And then we like and some. This is what happens when you don't hit the like and subscribe button. That things break, and then the game isn't quite as fun because the things are broken. But this is what's supposed to happen. Yeah, the, the raptor. Oh, <laughs> the raptor's just supposed to eat Kevin and then run over top of him. Also, it's exciting when the raptors fight each other. You want to see what that looks like? It is kind of. Fall over dead. <laughs> oh, welcome back to People Playground. We got a lot of cool stuff today. There's a lot of really, really neat things. Before we get into that, we've got today's sponsor. And I'd like to thank a game called Summoner's War for sponsoring today's video. Summoner's War is one of the world's most popular mobile turn-based RPGs for seven years and over 110 million downloads on the Google Play Store and on the App Store. The game is endless fun with over 1,000 unique monsters to collect and awaken. You can even customize your very own Sky Island and participate in weekly in-game events with different dungeons. And speaking of special in-game events, Summoner's War is now celebrating its 7th year anniversary. That means everybody gets 100 7th year anniversary exclusive scrolls totally for free. And as you play the game, you earn special coins with your daily logins. These coins can be used at the special 7th anniversary shop to buy some massive rewards. And there's even tons of endless events that are currently underway to celebrate this special anniversary. And a new monster update is coming pretty soon too. So don't miss out on this event. Make sure you click on that link down below in the video description to download Summoner's War for free today. Now I know you saw the title of the video and you're saying to yourself, no blitz, that possibly can't happen. There possibly can't be any weird like heat guns in this game and let me tell you that there are <laughs> did you see that yeah it's it's new item um uh, and it gets hot i mean can it cook a, a raptor i'm Ooh, it makes the raptor dance and then it gets cooked oh and it gets disintegrated and starts on fire that's always exciting we'll get rid of him there's also heating elements that we can drop into like pools of stuff and we can change a target temperature somewhere in here right here a thermometer yeah what happens if i drop that there and then i start cooking it oh yeah oh yeah Ooh. oh that's getting really hot okay so i can turn this thing to being like super duper that's seven thousand degrees celsius eight nine nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine degrees celsius <laughs> oh think of all the things we can do to play with we have some materials testing let's test out a bulletproof sheet what happens if we cook a bulletproof sheet does that turn red or anything no, not really. How about a metal pole? That could be fun. Here, metal pole. Ooh, ooh, I like. I'm feeling like we need Kevin's friend Kevin over here. He's gonna be playing with the cold ray. Yeah, there's the freeze ray too. No, Kevin, you're supposed to stand up. There you go. Okay, and then, yeah. Oh, neat. I wonder if it gets frozen. I like that little vortex look it has. So let's try some things. We're gonna try out on this guy. Oh, oh, he's dancing. Look at him go. That must be either hot or cold. I can't really tell, but he's injuring himself. So that's always funny. Oh, wow. We have new, we have new vehicles too. A hover car and a bicycle. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't know about this. I don't know what it does, but I feel like we need to test it. Can you guys just hold on with your, your shrink rays and stuff for a little bit? Oh, there we go. Wait, what? <laughs> Yay, Kevin! That's hilarious. I don't know why. Well, I don't know why a bike is so funny. But you know what makes it even funnier is Velociraptor attacks. <laughs> Wait, the bike is more powerful than a raptor. How is this possible? One of these times, our friend Blue here is just gonna eat Kevin, or not? <laughs> okay then. He's just climbing over his face. Oh no! Wait, what? It's uh, it's not how I, it's not how I scripted this. He's just gonna sit over here forever alone until I drop a little bomb underneath him and blow him up. <laughs> Bye, Kevin. So I want to test out this new thermometer guy. Yeah, digital thermometer accurately displays. If I put this below here, is there a new like uh, a heat pipe transfers heat? I think that could work. And if we transfer that heat from there to here, and then I freeze that in a location. 
does it change heat at all? What are these? RG, is that color? Converts red green. I don't even know. That's just big words. So what happens if I put a thruster here? Does this heat things up? And we'll freeze that into place and turn it on. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. we're making things warm. Is there a cooling thruster? That'd be kind of neat. Oh, that makes things really warm and toasty. Okay, there's the cooling element. I need to freeze a cooling element. That's kind of funny. All right, heat pipe up. Heat pipe up. And if I turn these bad boys on, it cools it down. Ooh, it's getting real cold. Can I change the temperature? Oh, set target temperature of, I don't know, 15 degrees Celsius. Neat. What happens if I use the laser pointer? Does this change temperature too? I'm just trying to figure out how this new heat stuff works. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. All right, it's set at one degree. Does it cool it down? No, we need to see if I put in a generator, connect that generator with a, not a blood vessel pipe, a wire. And then if I turn that on, I just made things dumb. All right, so we're gonna test this out by putting in a generator, freezing that into place, connecting it with a wire, and then turning that on. All right, if I, uh oh, that needs to be repaired. It might have had some problems a little bit ago. Don't mind me. So does this create heat? It does create heat. Very nice. 20 degrees Celsius, interesting. How much heat does this generator make? Did the dumb again. Why do I do the dumb all the time? All right, turn that on. Ooh, I can turn this one, just straight up delete it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's getting real warm. Oh, it's getting super warm. And then it just shorted out. Interesting, does that thing make heat too? Oh, it must. Hey, hold up. This breaks a lot of things if things are thinking how I'm thinking here. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's working. We just have to have a cooling mechanism on the heater. Wow, because it's cool cooking it to 1600 degrees. I like this, I like it. All right, you guys serve your purpose. You make things hot. That's what I wanted to know. And now it's hot. And it's cooling it down because we have cooling pipes on it. Okay, we hit boiling temperature. Does Kevin like boiling temperatures? Uh, no, he kind of dances a little bit. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Yay. At what point does Kevin not feel the heat? I mean, 50 is pretty hot. Yeah, he's actually stuck in the floor now. He's trying to get away. We'll get rid of him and put a new one up. Okay, somewhere around 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. Just want to have a little bit of fun with these things. Click on it. Ooh. Ooh. That's real fun. Uh huh. And then we can just warm things up. And then I take those brand new heat transfer pipes and I go like that and like that. And what happens if we say put a pumpkin inside here? We'll try it out with this thing first. Ready, get set. That's the wrong button. Ready, get set, fire! Okay, the heat transfer is going. The pumpkin is inside. Everything's working properly. Everything's working. The pumpkin isn't exploding. Okay, we better cool this down. There we go. Cool it down. Cool it down. Nice. That's actually legit. I like that. That is a really cool game mechanism. What else can we put in there? How about a car? <laughs> We're just gonna transfer the heat to the car. That'll work. Uh-huh. And then... Activate. <laughs> is the car gonna explode? <gasps> can I put a nuke inside? I feel like I can put a nuke inside. The car's not blowing up. Why is the car not blowing up? Okay, cool it down. Good job, Kevin. Pretty difficult to get this thing right at the right temperature. Make it a little hot so it'll cool it down on its own. I feel like we could try with just a grenade before we put a nuke in there. Let's see what happens if we superheat a grenade inside of our explosion chamber. Uh-huh, and here we go. And superheating grenade test. It explodes. Nice. Let's try a spike grenade. I don't know what a spike grenade is, but we can explode it. Oh, it's, it's working already. There we go. Come on, spike grenade test. Level one. Spike grenade's not blowing up. But that super hot and molten metal is pretty cool looking, isn't it? Kind of want to just shoot above <laughs> right down there on the friend's head. No, I'm not going to do that. That would be mean. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Exploding barrel test. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, they're on fire! <laughs> I mean, oh, no! Our Kevin's died. They ain't going to make it. They they didn't make it at all. Oh, oh it cooled off somehow. It's actually a really big game changer, if you didn't recognize that. Because now everything has like a heat and cooling temp. Makes me wonder, hold up, we have the ocean map. What would happen if I put a boat in the ocean and then lit it on fire? 
Unfortunately, I don't have any boats, so we're going to make a car like such as. And we're going to make it weightless and hook up some floaty barrels to it. And everything should float. I made a raft. I'm so proud of myself. Are you proud of me? I hope so. My raft is so cool. We're going to put a guy inside of it with a freeze ray. All right, freeze ray Kevin. Let's test this thing out on the water and see what happens here. Ready? Nope, nope, nope. Don't go in there, buddy. Don't, now is not the time to go swimming. Nope. I know you like to swim. We're just not going to do that right now. It's dangerous. He doesn't even know what danger is. That's why I like him so much. Ready? Get set. Fire. Okay, it didn't turn the water. We need another floaty barrel that I can freeze. Super, super freeze. Where, did, where are the floaty barrels? There they are. Okay, floaty barrel test versus this thing. Why is the water not freezing? It's not, the water's not freezing. Okay, a small I-beam. Small I-beam is not freezing the water. A torch. Torch goes out in the water, so we know the water has water properties. <gasps> Ooh, can we superheat an android? Maybe I'll just manually do it. Okay, so evidently the water doesn't have water properties, but does that? <laughs> oh no! Oh, can I cook him underwater? It's an interesting question. It does look like he takes heat damage underwater. That's sad. So you guys probably remember that I made things like this, right? Yeah, the black hole generator where we turn a bunch of things in, create a black hole, make all of these portals, and then cover your ears because it's going to get loud when I go like this, and then it goes... <laughs> yes. Yes, I love it. It also lasts for a really long time, and then it explodes, and all of the generators are gone. Now, I'm wondering if I can do something very similar to that with these new heat and cooling guns, which would be a lot of fun if I could. Usually, that comes down to having the ability to fire it remotely, which I can do. Oh, this will be good. And we also need to know if we can add more generation to these things to make them even more powerful. So if I hold down the one key like this, and then if I hit F key on that, does it get stronger and stronger and stronger heat? The answer looks like to be a general no. So let's go ahead and try out the even larger generator. Does it create more and more fun stuff? And that answer is also no. <gasps> What did I just find? <laughs> An energy S word. This one is not, uh, this isn't a mod. This is a real item in the game. Oops, sorry. I didn't realize there's energy S words in this. That is the tiniest little energy S word. Okay, we'll put this right up here. We'll make Kevin grab it. You're gonna turn into a Jedi, Kevin. Ooh. Oh, it sounds so cool. Let's see what it does if I, oh, uh-huh. If I, oh, I can't even grab the top. Let's just see. Ready? Oh, oh, oh my. He's grabbing it. Arrgh! Okay, energy swords. Oh, they're also, that, that's what would happen if I was a Jedi, if you were wondering. Can I change the color? Nope, no changing colors. <laughs> but it looks like a lot of fun. Those are cool. I feel like this might be the perfect zombie defense weapon. <laughs> yes, I do. I think this will work great well for zombies. Uh, I don't have any zombies. I should make a few of them. Here, you guys, you're going to be the volunteers. You're going to be the zombie people. And you get to be a zombie. And don't fall over. You're a zombie. Zombies don't fall over. Oh, that one might because I knocked him out. There we go. Just a nice little pop. Just a nice little poke. Yeah, right in that zombie juice. Right in your brains. There. Beautiful. Okay, you get deleted. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> we have a pack of zombies. Let's make them stumble because that'll be fun. Stumble. Oh, okay. They got a case of the dumbs. That's okay. They're, they're zombies. And then we're going to slow it down to 10% mode and I'm going to follow the car. Yeah, and then we're going to unpause it and see what happens. Let's pause now. Go car. And activate. <laughs> you ready for this? Okay, that zombie's ready. He's like, I'm all about this. And go! No, 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 no. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, detract. Nice. 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 Oh, that is so cool. Okay, he's going really fast again. I need more more people. We're going to do people this time. And ka-chow! Oh! Oh, that's so cool. I need one of these in real life. I don't know what for, but... Something about having burning zombies in front of my car sounds like a good idea in case the zombie apocalypse ever happens. Oh no, we found the weakness. It's called the gravity. Thankfully, I have fingers. Whee! 
It's also burning my car, which is kind of exciting. That's okay, because we landed it like a pro. Doors are falling off, that's fine. It also works as a really good snowplow, if you were wondering. I want something larger. Ooh! Okay, it works good against the androids, too. Everything's on fire. Why does everything smell like burning? Oh, my car's broken. All right, let's take a quick little test to see how this looks. That's pretty nice. And now if I press the two key. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. I'm not going to lie. I do have to change a few things up because some of it gets lost. You need to turn slightly. It's working. How sick does that look? How about if I turn them all on at the same time? Ooh. Ooh, that's so cool. I just created a sun. I feel like I just created a sun. Did I achieve nuclear fusion? I wish you could make power with that. I wonder if there is. Is there like a heat power? That'd be kind of cool. I don't think I see anything in here that's like a thermal power plant. I mean, we could make a blood tank. A real question is what happens if we put an android inside? Come here, Lieutenant Data. We're gonna make you stuck right in there. Uh-huh. And then... <laughs> oh, it's working! Is he still alive? <gasps> He's immune to heat juices! I didn't know that. Are people immune to heat juices? That's actually kind of cool. We created... Hold up. I'm gonna bring you outside of that. Did I just create a superhuman android thing? And then I can give him a lightsaber? Oh, the lightsaber blew up because it got too hot. What, he's still alive? He's still alive. <laughs> oh, it knocked him out. The heat, the heat did something to his funny bone. Made him all wiggly. He's cooling off nicely. Huh. I don't think the potions work on androids. They're like, their skin's a little bit crunchy, but I might be able to give him an oil injection. Does that work? Here, we'll, we'll drain that into here and then we'll push it into there. There we go. Come on, wake up, Mr. Android. Wake up, your life depends on you waking up. This one broke my lightsaber. Oh, look at those liquids in there, that's kinda cool. And for science purposes, Kevin really, really wants to play in here, so. Oh, he didn't make it. <laughs> Kevin got vaporized. I wonder if we can get rid of his, uh, his crunchy parts. You know, his crunchy parts stayed. It's too bad. Here's a question. What happens if I delete these? Seeing all the blue lights around the side got me thinking. I know it doesn't happen much, but I did make a thought today. All right, shall we try this with, uh, ooh, the hot and the cold mixture? That looks really cool. I like it. What happens if we put a person inside? Hey, <laughs> I bet they're gonna like it too. All right, all right, all right, all right, you ready? And three, two, one, activate. <laughs> they're living, oh, they died. That's too bad. <laughs> I guess the cold rays didn't do enough to to delete them all. Oh well. But this is how superheroes are made. I know it. If we can get someone to feel this power. Oh, wow, it's actually killing them now. Why did it kill this time? There's something very satisfying about this machine. I haven't quite put my finger on it yet, but I really enjoy playing with it. And I know you're asking. I know you're asking. What happens if we put a nuke inside? We better make this nuke smaller. We're gonna make him a square nuke. We'll freeze them right inside, and then slow motion. Okay, okay, we're heating it up. Everything's working properly. We're superheating a nuke. <laughs> and super cooling it at the same time. Is it gonna explode? Why aren't the rest of these getting power? I'm holding down the button. There we go. Full time mode. I feel like something's gonna explode here in a second. Okay, nothing happened. I do want to try to create that superhuman though. Like an adrenaline shot. Oh, 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 right in the face. Okay, he's got the adrenaline. We're gonna give him a life potion right, uh oh, come here. Give him a life potion right in the old ham back here. And he should heal up from all of his wounds very properly and be super duper special and powerful. So if I go ahead and hit him with this, he's gonna live. <gasps> He didn't live. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, the lightsaber broke this thing. 
So I guess the only thing we can do is to create like this super bionic android that can withstand the power of 7 million suns. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of People Playground. If you did want to check out Summoner's War, make sure you click on that link in the video description down below. And thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. Also, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank everyone who signed up on Patreon, including Ben, Ellen Hagen, Dickie James, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Whip It Good, Seraphin X, Des Bogger, Maxer, Sarnoff, Legacy, Jason McFarland, Deegan, Paul Longstone, and Ralph. And everyone who has clicked that join button down below to become a YouTube channel member.